Shane, what was his general so, theme? Uh, just sergeant. Sergeant. Yes. Of course, he was a genius. From the beginning, he was an artist's artist. Those portraits, it's, it's the actuality. They're so vivid, so real, so um, uh, instinct with life and character. Don't train to be a portrait painter, train to be an artist. But it means a lot to me to work on his palette, because it has such deep meaning to me. This palette was in the John Sar Sargent estate in 1925. It's the most precious gift I ever got. It was given to me by Paul Burns. A couple of years ago, on my 50th birthday, a package came in the mail, wrapped in a pretty homemade looking box, with reams and reams of tape to hold it together. I opened the package and was stunned to find that it was the palette that belonged to John Singer Sargent. The palette came to Everett Kinsler by way of a wonderful artist named Paul, Paul Burns. Burns. Before that, the palette was owned by a British artist named Brockhurst. And was a friend of John Singer Sargent's. One of the things you won't appreciate with this palette, these are the original palette cups that were there when it was bought from the Sargent estate in the very place where Sargent had them. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette with incredible patina. And you can see the residue of what must be Sargent's paint, as well as those of the other, other artists that have owned it. One of the things that Kinsler insisted upon when he gave it to me was that at some point, someday, I use it. I will at some point. And secondly, that I pass it along to another artist someday, and so that we continue that tradition. There were six mounds on this palette where the paint had been, which follows something I am sure of, and that is that Sargent's palette was very, very simple. A white, a yellow, a red, and a blue, the primary colors, and then supplemented. I don't know exactly what his colors were, but this is what I've arrived at. Uh, it's fairly lightweight. It's beautifully balanced. It's not particularly large. Um, but it's enough. It's enough to have the mixing room that you would need. We are so fortunate that Ray Kinsler, not long before he passed the pallet on to me, agreed to have a museum replica made of the pallet. Making it possible for many to own their own personal touch tone to history. An absolutely beautiful museum replica using the height of modern computer technology. Uh, the wood is also a match uh, to the original and the stain is absolutely dead on. It is a, a stunningly perfect match. I've been using my copy of the palette for a number of years since the Portrait Society began producing them. I hope you will consider purchasing your own copy from the Portrait Society. All of the profits from the sale of the palettes go to our educational work that we provide at the Portrait Society. And through this palette, you are connected to a tradition of great artists that go back now more than 100 years, back to the great John Singer Sargent himself.